Meanwhile, the former governor of Imo State, uh, Rocha Sokorocha, has raised the alarm over the level of insecurity in Imo State. Speaking in Owori, the capital, Okorocha says the level at which people are being killed and displaced from their homes are alarming, calling on the federal government to intervene as quickly as possible. Killings in Imo State are really underreported. And, and it's unfortunate that we're not making this known to the federal government of Nigeria to come to the aid of Imo State. Uh, there are no days that passes here or weeks that passes without uh, killings or a traditional that being beheaded or a young man being shot dead or a policeman being killed almost on daily basis. And uh, this particular, uh, my particular concern now is to bring this to the attention of the federal government and they should do something urgently regarding the situation in Imo State. And most Nigerians do not know, or federal government may not know, that Ahaji Ebema now is deserted. And literally nobody is living around some of the communities in Ahaji Ebema, uh, in Osu, in Okigwe, in Onimo, in Idat or not. Most of the villages around this area are now deserted. No life in it because everybody has run for safety. And this is not what we ask for from democracy. So I want to appeal on President Mamed Balatinibu, the Inspector General of Police, and all I concerned to see what they can do to bring peace to bear in Imo State. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.